Hello everyone and welcome back to my Zero Time Dilemma Let's Play. The last time we opened the door of truth and then found out the truth as um, is appropriate for the door of truth um, to reveal us. And that is that all the wards are technically one ward and we were all connected but we all slept at different times so we were always active at different times. So that was cool and then Eric, he uh, sadly got the shotgun, nobody took it from him. I swear, the fucking, just, just don't let him have guns, I swear. But yeah, anyway, Carlos was like, yeah, yeah, shoot me, I'm just gonna shift, and uh, he did his thing, and then he sent Akane and Junbei to a different timeline. But we're not gonna do that, I, mean, I think that would be this one. I think what we're gonna do first is do this timeline, because that this should be the one we left behind, or like, Carlos left behind. So... This is just gonna be terrible because Eric, like, I'm gonna have a choice, and this one's gonna be Eric. I, I, I piss him off, and then he just kills me, and that's game over. And this is where I don't piss him off, and we do something different. And one of these is gonna be game over, and one of them isn't. But they don't connect to anything, so I, I, I don't know. That this is probably gonna be like a bad timeline, which makes me feel bad for Sigma and Deanna because they literally just they wanted to jump to a different timeline that would be better, but this one is not gonna be better. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get this one out of the way first so we can, like, continue with the, uh, story. Q! With the rest of the story, I should say. Like, the more linear part with Carlos just jumping through time. It's one of us, then it could have been him. It's you, isn't it? I told you, it's not! You're gonna have to prove it! Prove? I don't have any... Then I'm killing you. Wait! Please, wait! I know. Maybe... Maybe I can dump dimensions too. I mean, he can't, but... Yeah. Maybe what? Just knock his Maybe teeth out. If I take this helmet off, I think you'll understand then. Oh. So, your face will prove your innocence? <laughs> I'm... I'm... <laughs> Fine. Take it off. I mean, um, it will definitely be shocking. The number for this is, I, I think it's. Okay, this is, uh, we know the number, I wrote it down. But since we want to have the bad ending first, it's going to be. <laughs> Damn it. Why, why isn't it 69, 69, 69, 69? I can't believe it. Like I said, we're gonna do the bad ending first to get it out of the way. I mean, this is one of the times I'm sure it's the bad ending. Oh no, I forgot. Crap! I don't know! <sighs> you bastard! You're fucking with me, aren't you? Uh, uh, uh. Them. Oh God. Great. 
Great. <laughs> Good ending. <laughs> Game over. Sorry. Oh, it, God damn it! I just realized I didn't save after the last episode. Um, it's gonna be okay. I hope. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna redo that. <laughs> Enter the number this time. <laughs> oh man. It does feel a bit bad, but you know we need to fill out the floor chart. That's that's the main goal here, right? <laughs> Okay, so it's 6141 Wait. Yeah, I was about to say. What? Shooting us can serious? Can't be. No. Yeah. I'm not human. That that makes you even more suspicious. No, it's because I'm not a human that I can't be. What do you mean? Change the fact that you existing is suspicious. Can someone take the gun from him, on. please? Why is a robot here? Well, because Zero brought me in. What the? Zero created me so I could support him in this game. Wait, Eric! Out of my way! I'm gonna kill him! Please, just calm down, Eric! Shut up! If what he said is true, then he would be able to tell us who Zero is! Okay, can someone please take the gun? This is my only, my only thought this entire time. Please just talk, someone take the fucking gun from him. Do you... no? Fine. If you know, then tell me right now who the real Zero is! What's the name of the bastard who locked us up and forced us to take part in this messed up game? Yeah, I'm probably gonna learn Zero. that in the other timeline. So, um... Zero's name is... What if it is Delta, though? I'm gonna try it, but it's probably not gonna be right. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, because that's the boy. Or... Not? Wait. <laughs> Zero. The real Zero is. 
Or maybe it's wrong? You, Delta! What? Wait. Delta? I've heard that name before. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Oh, yeah. You guys wouldn't know. Because you transported into this history. Oh, would you stop yapping, Sean? This old man's name is Q. That's right. That's what he was called at DCOM. Yeah, I called him that. And Mira, she always called this man Q, too. Then... Huh? What just happened? Stood. Hmm. You're completely correct, Sean. My real name is Delta. Was he just here this entire he time? I thought you were supposed to be deaf. Okay, and here we are. All of you will be living together here in the decom facility. Um. The the old man in the wheelchair, too? Uh-huh. His name is Q. It should be obvious, but he can't walk. What's more, he can't see or hear, either. He can't hear? Nope. But then why? Strangers living together on Mars for an extended period of time? What kind of problems would that bring? Would the subjects figure out solutions to the resulting troublesome situations? According to the DCOM staff, that's what the experiment was trying to determine. Like the chair bound old man. Put us in a difficult position on purpose to observe how we'd get out. So, you're saying it. It's all a lie. Purple. This is. There are a large variety of security cameras in place throughout the shelter. A feed of all the footage is fed in, and they all appear there. So you used that to spy on us the whole time? Yes, I did. However, it is limited to those histories where I am alive. Alive? Histories? Hey, Sigma! Go take off his clothes! What? Huh? Just hurry and do it! There is no need. This is what you wanted to see, correct? You bastard! Hold on, don't do it, Eric! If you shoot, we won't be able to ask him anything. Pay too? No. Mira was the one who did that. What? She was, in a sense, a collaborator. She was a necessary element of my plan. But it wasn't that I gave her a specific set of orders. I simply let her roam free and do as she pleased. Oh, I did. Exactly. 
souls. Great. Then why? Why do you kill Mira? She's a serial killer. The Heart Ripper. Many innocent people lost their lives because of what she's done. I only gave her her due punishment. What? What are you talking about? Stop bullshitting me! It's the truth. In another history, you and Diana and Sigma were all murdered by her. Shut up! You're just making shit up! I will never believe you! There's no way my angelic Mira would ever- <laughs> Just shut up, please. No, Eric! Don't shoot! We haven't asked him everything yet! Shut up! I don't care! The X door will never open again! It'll open. Of course it will. What? Uh, so, should we ask him how? Right. The old man, Delta. Uh, was I not supposed to see that yet? Because <laughs> I'm like... I see. I get it now. We need this boy. I mean, Sean. He needs to get direct access to the central control computer. Is that right? Uh, but... What? To connect to it directly, I need to extend a cable from my neck and plug it into the console jack that's inside. But, well... It looks like the cover is shut. Yeah. We would need to open this first. What's the code? Code? Don't play dumb. The code to open the damn cover. It's 38080832. Sorry to be... to be, uh... lame. Vlog. I need to write that down. 38080832. Oh. I'm I most definitely need this in another timeline. Now we just need to extend the cord and connect it. Okay. <laughs> you ready. I look just so gross. I'll open the X. Why? Just why? There's no point in this. You're stupid, Eric. You're the stupidest person alive. Why? And it's so sad that no, you're still alive. No, I, I... My... My hand just... My hand slipped. I have no more use for this history. There's only one thing left to do. No! Wait! Don't... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pleasant. Okay, yeah, I, but but why is he so old? Why? I'm <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was not supposed to <laughs> to see that ending yet. Um, okay, theory time, or more confusion time, I should say. So he is the one who trapped Diana and Sigma in Deco. So they, there would be the timeline where they, um, where they have sex and then have twins, one of which being Phi and the other one being Delta. And then 
they send those kids back in time or, or, or to a different timeline where they could grow up but that timeline was supposed to be around 2008 or 2009 I think is, is what they said because they wanted this to be after the escape I, I, I don't remember the, the reasoning behind that something about before something happened so but the reason they have the kids is because they are trapped in decom and the person who trapped them in decom is delta their kid so he just if if they were never trapped would they have had the twins and like i said they were sent back to the same point why is he so much older than Phi? Phi is like around 20 or whatever. And I remember that <laughs> whenever we had that episode where there was revealed that there were twins and afterwards when I went to bed or I think the next morning, I, <laughs> I had this thought of like, the timeline even makes sense if she was transported back to 2008 and this is 2029, then she would be around 20 years old because there was a scene where Sigma and, and Diana were talking and, and he was like, yeah, he doesn't know her age, but she should be around 20. Or she is also really old, but doesn't look like it for some reason because she was like, wait, wasn't there? Now that I remember, there was this cutscene where, um, where, uh, what, what was it? Someone was talking. Uh, right, right. The, the flashback, right. That's one. Where, um, you know, Bai and Deanna were in decom, and Bai was like depressed, and they had their little hug. And and Fai was implying something like she isn't human. Like, she was like, if you're. Is this okay if you're a normal human or whatever? I mean, it doesn't. <sighs> I don't know if they're supposed to imply that she's like a different being i mean it would make sense if delta is her brother and he has weird purple eyes <laughs> that she could also be like different but i don't know i mean apparently he can freely travel between the timelines the thing is does he shift or does he jump and also why <laughs> Was he the point of view character this entire time? And nobody just mentioned him? That, that's another thing. I mean, they had to have remembered him when they're like, it's you, Q. I'm, I'm so confused by everything. I'm pretty sure I was not supposed to see that yet. Delta was literally just a guess. I mean, my first guess was that Q, like, Sean was supposed to be Delta, which doesn't make sense since we know his name was Sean. So that was just my weird guess. And yeah, then it turned out to be zero. Oh <laughs> uh, no. I don't know if I was supposed to do Carlos's thing first and then find out that his name is Delta and then come back and then put that in. So depending on how the Carlos thing is gonna go, it's gonna be a bit awkward because it's gonna be like yeah, my name is Delta. Ooh, that's crazy, man. And then I already did that. <laughs> like, whoops. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. Also, sorry for not skipping the credits, but I had... The thing is, it's a good time to, like, talk about the game a bit. And uh, it came from within. Finish Q and 2. Like, it's it's good. Like, the thing is, I would have talked about this anyway, and I feel like at least this way we had music in the background and not, like, the the fragment select screen. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that, but first, I mean, we know it's gonna be a game over. I should have just... I mean, the thing is, if I didn't enter Delta, you are zero. So, I'm zero. But I'm not, because it's the old man who caused the time paradox. I mean, whatever. But I feel like if I would have just gone 
Although that would have might that would have probably been the better move anyway, to be like, oh yeah, I don't know what to back out, get the bad ending, and then do Carlos's thing. But yeah. <laughs> Whoops. I mean I, I, I at least I have the numbers written down. I, I think I need them for a different ending. Can I say me? <laughs> Carl who <laughs> it's me. Does that count? Wait. Don't tell me that actually counted. Oh. <laughs> I knew it was you. Die. Well. <laughs> So can we kill Eric now? Please? At least take the gun from him? Oh, screw it! I'll just kill all of you! Yeah, great. Now you can kill yourself. Like, he's such an idiot. Now he's just stuck here with a bunch of corpses. I'm... Okay, he, he is actually killing himself, okay. Yeah. This time willingly. Great. Now I'm wondering if I ended like Sigma or Deanna, if the scene would be different. It probably would be. But uh I'm not gonna I'm not gonna redo that. It's probably just a little bit of dialogue difference. I don't I don't care about that so much. So we max uh, oh yeah, right. <laughs> I had to switch because the <laughs> floor chart is so uh, stretched out now I can't fit everything or like most of it in, in one thing. So for my outro I have to do the simplified flow chart now. Hmm. Wait. <laughs> Who killed who killed Junpei? What if I enter Delta in here? We're gonna do that first. I don't care. I don't care. I mean Delta is technically the right and no, it's wait. The question is wait. No, wait. Who will he kill? I mean, if he is here, can I just kill him? <laughs> He's technically everywhere. Oh no, don't shoot me, please. I'm really sorry. Wow. <laughs> and Mira's like, well. <laughs> the good ending. Sean, you. Out of all your choices, you kill him? A dentum. This is yet another Also, why do they now know that his name is Sean? I mean, Q's name is Sean. Wrinkle in time, shot that person. Perceptive end. I mean, hey, at least it has his own symbol. So that's cool. Hmm. The bad part about this is that the part is that like half an hour, so it would usually like go like 15 minutes more, but I don't know if this is gonna be 15 minutes or more. So this could be a longer part. I hope it isn't, but we'll see. We will see indeed. Apocalypse. Yeah, that's not the best time to jump to. Oh, wait. Carlos isn't coming. Wait, what? What is he doing? He... he promised he'd come. Uh, maybe he's... Don't say it. 
I'm going to go check in the lounge. Hey, Junpei! <laughs> Or D? What the hell is... Oh. What happened? The apocalypse. Oh, I better get a Connie. My guess is that something exploded. Exploded? bomb went off in the decontamination room. Who'd do that? <laughs> Sigma. And Diana. Unauthorized escape. Do you get it? D-Team set the bomb. Oh, and that's how the ceiling collapsed in that room. But why is it now completely buried in sand? The ceiling probably gave in a little while after they escaped. Oh, Jesus. I'm alive. The history where I'm alive and you are dead. Seems you found your way in safely. Zero. As promised, the important information. First, Akane, the history you find yourself in, is that one. What? No! The first radical six patients have left. They should reach the hospital shortly. The pandemic is unavoidable now. No. The virus is spreading all over the world. That's a damn lie. It has to be! Oh, it is the truth. Free the soul's plan is progressing smoothly. Then that's gotta mean you're that cult's. Alright, I am the founder of Free Soul. Oh, his brother. Brother. You oh. bastard. Thanks to your shitty dream, six billion people will. Don't be mistaken. If we do nothing now, and let time pass, an even worse future awaits. A religious fanatic will trigger a nuclear war with a terrorist attack. Eight billion. All of mankind will perish. Unfortunately, the fanatic's identity is unknown. It's Aaron. Therefore, I decided to kill. Six billion people. Why? By doing so, I will have a 75% chance that they are among the virus's casualties. To tell the truth, history has proven me right. So, to kill one person, you'll sacrifice six billion? It is to save two billion people. And that's how you use Radical Six. You don't believe that's the ethical choice? What? Uh, of course I don't! Is that all you think human lives are worth? Do you feel nothing as you kill off a whole bunch of innocent people? But that's just the way of life. Sinner or innocent, people will die or be killed in an unjust way. Like your parents, a kind of What are you talking about? Your father was sentenced to death to a crime he didn't commit. In grief, your mother killed herself. No, that's wrong. My parents were involved in an accident. You were likely told that, but it is a lie. What I shared just now is the truth. No! Think about it. If your father had been falsely accused, how different your life would have been. You'd 
never have been involved in that child abduction case ten years ago. And clearly, the incidents that you remember would not have happened either. And of course, Jupiter. The path you walked during your life would have been completely different too. The smallest thing I feel like getting falsely accused isn't a small thing, though. The same. That doesn't mean that you have free reign to just mess with the lives of people like that. Only God decides who lives and who dies. I am God. To think you of all people would invoke God. Very well. You, of course, see the clothing playing on the bar counter. The evening of April 12th, 2029, wear those and take part in the house. There, I shall tell you the secrets of the world. There's no way I'd ever go! No, you will most definitely come. Well, that is, if you manage to escape the shelter. Just watch. I'll get out soon. Of course we will. Diana's bringing back a rescue team. Will she, though? Do they even have any reason to believe that the two of you are alive? If there is no rescue, then the remainder of your lives will carry out at this sacred site. Sacred site? This is the sacred site where the birth of brother, founder of Free the Soul, occurred. Yeah. Are you saying you were born here? Yes, but raised elsewhere. The moment we were born, we were transferred to the past via the transporter. Back to April 1904. What? <laughs> 1904? Wait, did you just say we? Yes. Do you mean your little brother? It's true. I had a younger brother, but we were not related by blood. He was the son of the couple who raised me. Then... Let me clarify. My we referring to my younger sister. You know this person very well. Ah, it appears I've spoken too long. But I will impart to you something very important. A spell to open Pandora's box. Oh? We were audio. Remember these words well. It will come in handy someday. We wait, Odie? It's Latin. Live for today. I wonder what's happened to Carlos. Maybe he won't be coming. Uh, why would you say that? Maybe... Maybe nobody's going to come to save us. Like Zero said, Diana and the others probably don't know we're alive in here. It'll just be us two, in this place, forever. Let's make another Zero. Wink, no. wink. Someone else. Or maybe more like something. Calling him a Gab. thing. Oh, I'm glad you're safe. Hey, look. Isn't there something in his collar? This is... Oh, yeah, 
Um, that's when you rearrange the letters of a word or phrase. But we need to know the sentence to work from. Probably the one on the wall. Sentence. Huh. Oh. Hey, uh, Akane, do you remember the Ward C Lounge? Yes. What did it say on the wall? using all the letters from that. Combine that with the other together with me and the largest ten mean. It could be saying, if you're with me, then there are ten of us. Ten? I mean, there are plenty of other ways to read. Where are you going, Junpei? Isn't Q on this board? Why? Well, because he's not dead. Wait, he, he's still alive? I think so. Huh, Q is alive. We are ten. What? No. Whoa. I, I see what they're doing though, with the whole, the old man is called Q, and we but we think it's like, Sean, but it's not, but they don't know Sean. Is it Carlos? Sorry about the wait. <laughs> well, I guess I was the one waiting. I promised, didn't I? That I'd come back to you. Wait, are you? Hey, Junpei, Akane, I'm here to save you. We get credits again. But. Okay, so you're supposed to extrapolate from that. That Zero's name is Delta. So I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so we are supposed to do this first. Which makes sense. Because now they're being like, oh no, why is Q not on here? Because Q is not dead. I don't even know if Sean is dead in this one or not. So I'm going to refer to the old man as Q and Sean as the Q we thought, or the person we saw thought was Q. Which is still weird. Why would they call Sean Q? I'm trying to, to think back to the first lounge scene from Q Team. And they even asked him what his name is and he's like, yeah, my name's Q. Also in... I mean, I guess in... Yeah, so obviously all the other teams except for Q team didn't know about Sean's existence, right? So, so they thought there were nine. The ninth person being Q. So zero. And they all thought... Did they all think they were trapped with Q? Like, which, I mean, I'm just asking which team did he assign himself to or which team did he join or did he join all of them? Like, 
he was obviously awake, awake the entire time and I mean Mira knew too but like uh, Mira knew too but like uh, did did she or did or did Q just join every team but nobody but <laughs> I don't I don't know if I like this or not I hope they explain this or else I'm gonna be mad because like he was in none of the execution scenes obviously uh, but nobody thought to ask where he was or maybe okay the thing is he is technically the point of view character so maybe he was even in the execution scenes but like we had this then this new flashback with um where Eric was like talking to Mira in, in, in the in the decontamination room of like being like, oh yeah, it's um it's because uh they they had this old man here because they wanted to like test for how people will react or, or master the sh challenges on Mars or whatever. So why wasn't he in there then? And why did no one question that he wasn't in there? Or maybe he was in there. I don't <laughs> I don't know, was he just there the entire time? I mean... And I, uh, Is the game trying to tell me that I, I played a zero? I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me, honestly. I, I'm more surprised that they didn't do that twist yet. <laughs> I mean, they kind of did that in Virtus Last Reward. So, though in my mind, Akane is definitely the person who orchestrated more of 9... Uh, not 9 and 9, um... What is less reward than uh, than Sigma? But whatever, we, we we don't care about that. That details details. Am I right? So I'm like, whatever. I, I wouldn't be surprised if I did this whole thing of like I was zero all along. But but they did say like we we had this weird thing where Deanna was sometimes like, oh yeah, I didn't I I couldn't choose different. I was forced to. So you'd think that was when Q was forcing the character to make the wrong choice. That's whenever I made the wrong choice. But that would make sense that I'm zero because I am forcing the characters to commit the wrong choice. But then again, in the other ending where uh, Q was like, yeah, I don't need this timeline anymore. I'm going to just kill everyone and make, um, make Eric kill himself, whatever. That was the character. I couldn't do that. So I'm still thinking that there's still a layer of separation, right? So that I'm not technically zero, but maybe experiencing the game from zero's perspective. Maybe maybe that's it. Because I would have had to be the one to choose. Like, even if the game didn't give me a choice, they would have been like, oh yeah, just kill them. And then I just do that. Oh, good that we waited. <laughs> so... Let me get this straight. You you shifted to the history where you pushed the yellow button. I can't leave with you guys. Huh? I made a promise in another history that I'd definitely save you two. Then you went back in time 10 months by activating the unused transporter? So you guys would be able to transport to this history. I needed 10 months to charge the device again after I used it. And then you just waited for a long time. That's right. You didn't think of stopping Zero's plan? If I did that, then I couldn't have met you guys, right? Well, that was one hell of a thing you did. Huh? Do you know what happened because of you? Mira and Eric died. Sigma lost his arms and an eye, and he's in the hospital. That's not all. Zero said the first Radical Six patients have left. It's, it's too late. We can't stop the spread of the virus. What happened today is going to result in six billion people. And Carlos is like, oh no. That may have been a bad move. 
This is the end. I have to start over from the beginning. Start over? We'll start now and spend the next 45 years preparing for my plan. Y you have a plan? In 45 years, I'm going to call Sigma and Phi's consciousnesses to the future. We must do it, or we can't save all those people. I'll help you, Akane. Let me join Crash Keys, or, or whatever you're calling it. I can't do that. Why? I'm going to need you to forget everything you know, Junpei. Wait, what? I'm really sorry. Ouch. Hey, Akane! No, you, you... You can't be... Why? Junpei, I will never forget you. But please... Forget me. You need to forget. No... I don't want to. I'll never forget. No matter what happens, I won't. I... I won't. And then he did. Akane! Why? I do what I must to accomplish my goals. That is just how I am. Even if that means I must lose my life, I... I swear I'll make the AB project a success. And Carlos can keep his memories? You're fine with that? Fly me to the moon. Well, uh, that's great. So, um, only one ending left. Let's go. Can I even do anything now? That's completed. That's completed. I think I'm supposed to have all the clues I need for the, uh, for the four squid, right? Like, what else do I have? This is all Fallout, this is all Fallout. Yeah, this... We only have the fourth squid left. Which is technically, I mean... Or should be the best ending, right? Because, like... That's where... Yeah, that's where everyone lives and we just quit the game and get out. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that, I just pressed the button. <laughs> A oh, man. Akon is just, she's just doing her whole thing again. Can you imagine, like, working on a plan for 45 years, then executing that plan, and then having to do all that thing again? I mean, to be fair, you're also going back in time and you're young again, so you don't have to do, like, so you aren't, like, over 100 years old when you do that again. But, you know, that, uh, that it, uh, also, I wonder, will we get, like, a name to the supposed terrorist that's gonna kill, like, all of humanity? I feel- I, I feel like I'm on- I'm with Akane on this, like, killing six billion people to kill one person is a bit extreme. Also, what if he got unlucky? I mean, there has to be a reality where he got unlucky, right? And nuclear war happened anyway, right? So, I mean, I guess- that's just less people that die later, or whatever. But that that that's uh, that that's a thing that happened. Oh man, I'm. 
I need to process this. And um and eat breakfast. I haven't eaten anything yet. So yeah. I mean it's cool we don't have any escape rooms anymore to solve. We're we're done with that. So I appreciate that. So we only have a story left. Which is which means probably afterwards is gonna be the finale. Oh man. I don't know if I'm prepared for that. Especially since we're then done with the series, so that's crazy, man. I can't believe like we just played an entire series worth of games. I mean, entire trilogy worth of games, I should say. It, calling it a series sounds like it has like ten entries, but no, it's three, which are manageable. But you know, anyway, I'm I'm probably gonna say that in the next episode too, but uh, in the next episode too, but. Uh, I'm obviously thankful for everyone who sticked around throughout the entire run, or maybe just joined now. And, um, yeah. I need to save those words for the next part. This is not the finale now. Um, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I hope you are not as confused as me about this whole thing. And, um, yeah. I'm gonna see you guys in the probably finale, finale next time. Bye-bye.